everyone, welcome to Zoe TV. In today's video, I have another testing Technic Cosmetics makeup products. So they have sent me a blush and highlight palette. I'm gonna be showing you close-ups of all of these. But this is just a quick look at them. palette that I'm going to be using today is called Jungle Fever. Then we've got two eyeshadow palettes, quite autumnal winter neutral colours with a few pop of colours in there. This is another eyeshadow palette. This looks very pretty. And then this one is the glitter palette. It's pressed glitter for your face and body. So this is I think more for like festival looks. You can put it on your face, down your eyes, things like that. So I might not be using this in today's video but I will swatch them for you. The packaging of the new collection is really classy with the black and rose gold trim around the sides. I really like that. For today's look I'm going to use the palette called The Heat Is On. I'm feeling the brown shades and then as the pop of colour, I really like the look of, uh, let me find it, this shimmery orange shade. So, let's start. In my previous videos, I've spoken about the Technic Cosmetics Pro Finish Palettes. Um, this is the one called Hidden Treasures and inside here, you get a two-sided brush. So, there's more of a fluffy side and then more of a precise shadow side and I'm going to be using that brush with this palette today. Taking my Zoeva 224 brush and this matte orangey brown shade, it's more orangey, I'm going to pop this in my crease. Oh wow, I've got my mirror just at the side of me just so I can see what I'm doing. It seems to be moving well as well, like I can blend it in no time. To deepen that colour, I'm going to take this, which is a nice burnt orange, and again, I'm going to pop that in my crease, but focus it more on the outer edge. Okay, you know what? To get more control, I'm just going to take the shadow side of the brush that comes in the Pro Finish palette. Again, with that Pro, with that burnt orange colour and just place this more directly onto the eye and then I can blend after. Blend with the fluffy side. This brush is actually really good. Again, that had colour on it. Okay, I've just blended whatever that brush had on it. It had the darker colour from the Hidden Treasures palette. So I'm just gonna blend that in. Oh, I actually quite like it. It's done what I needed it to do. So I'm actually going to use that side of the brush again on this side so it matches. I'm going to take this brown shade just here. I've got a little bit of fallout but I can fix that at the end. Or now. Is anyone else the same way? Like they can't concentrate on the of the eyes if you see bits of fallout on your cheeks. I just can't. Now I'm going to pick up this shimmery orange colour. Hopefully it's going to be nice and pigmented. I want to just whack that on the centre of the eyelids. See, I can wet the brush now to make it more intense, but I don't want to. I actually want to go for quite a subtle look. I want it to be oranges and brown sort of sunset vibes. But that is honestly a really pretty shade. I like that a lot. Now I'm going to take that same burnt orange colour and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Still with the same brush so that pop of orange is still there as well. As I'm going for a soft look today, I am going to take the black eyeshadow, it's like a grey black, with the same brush, my 238 Zoeva brush, and I'm going to create a wing, but a very soft wing on my upper lash line. So what I like to do, I like to slightly talk to my skin and then press it into the lash line and then I just bring out the outer edge just to create a tiny wing 
Now I'm going to use the Technic Lash Primer. I've already curled my lashes, so I'm just gonna pop this on. This lash primer has coconut oil and vitamin E within it, which is nice, it smells nice as well. White lashes. Now I'm going to use the Technic Mega Lash Mascara. This has got argan oil in, I believe. Yes, argan oil. Now I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner Candy K Lip Pencil. Ooh. And then I'm going to use the Technic Liquid Lipstick in the colour Eye Candy number no. 2. I've been using this every day. It's the perfect neutral matte shade. So I'm just going to line and then pop this on. Let me give you a little quick swatch. So you can leave it matte, but for today I'm going to apply the Technic High Gloss in the colour Kiss and Tell, just because I want it a bit shiny. Just there. Oh, it's quite pink, I'm just going to take a bit of that off. So let me just talk about the actual palette. I really enjoyed using this. I probably used, let me see, one, two, three. So I used five shades. So not a lot of shades, but enough for me to know that I was able to blend easily. They're very pigmented, nice to work with, and not a lot of fallout. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up for that. I have used the other products in other videos, like the mascaras, the liquid lipstick, so I already know that I like them. And then the other eyeshadow palette that I haven't used yet is called Sierra Sunset. Oh, that's actually quite ironic. So this palette that I didn't use is the Sunset palette, but I created a sunset look using the Heat Is On palette. Didn't, didn't even realise. But just as a finishing touch, I'm going to use the Blush and Highlight palette and I'm going to apply, ooh, I'm going to mix both of these shades, the pink and the orangey shade. Let me just get it out of the package. I'm going to mix these two together. So because I've got a bit of a pinky lip going on and an orange eye, I think it will be nice to mix the pink and the orange and it will just pick up the makeup. Oh my gosh, that's a bit too much. I'm going to blend. I'm going to take my foundation brush because that's a little bit too much blush for me. I've actually been looking for a blush palette like this where it's got quite a few different tones of blushes and I like the fact that it's got the orangey shade in there as well and it's just added a nice amount of colour so I'm happy with that. All of these colours from the blush and highlight palette are so smooth to touch. They honestly feel like butter. When I was just doing the swatches they feel like velvet, I just had to say that. The list of products that I used in today's video along with the prices will all be in the description box below, so definitely check that out. Thank you to Technic Cosmetics for sending me these palettes. I always really enjoy creating videos using their products, so I'm very grateful, thank you so much. Let me know what you all think about this look and let me know if you want me to use any other colours that you saw in any of these palettes today. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.